Good morning. Today I will be telling you about the importance of water, of conserving water. It is very important to save water and use it properly. Otherwise, the generations that come after us will not have clean and safe water. Two, water conservation is a ripple effect. That means if you save water today, keep it clean and not pollute it. It will only help us in the in the long run. Conserving water is done by using three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce is the amount of water you use. Do not run the water when you brush your teeth. Run the washing machine only when it is on full loads. Use drip irrigation system instead of sprinklers. All this will reduce the amount of water you use. Reduce, reuse water as much as possible. You can use the water to use to rinse, rinse vegetables to water plants, or after you mop the floor, put that in water in your plants. Recycle the water. The best method is to use rainwater. You can make a rainwater reservoir where you collect rainwater, then either filter it or not, or not to use for different needs like watering plants, washing your driveway. In some countries, water is recycled and used to in washing toilets and washing clothes. So this model, I came up with this idea myself. So <laughs> rainwater, Rainwater comes in through here, and then once it gets to these straws, it comes out through these two straws and into your plants. Okay. We have to save water and not pollute it so we can save our planet Earth. All the water sources are interconnected. If you pollute one, it will eventually pollute others. Because rivers flow into oceans, and through the water cycle, it comes back to us. So we have to save water and not pollute it so we can save our planet Earth. All of the waters, because river, oh, I can't. It's okay. Thank you very much for listening and understanding. I hope and wish that each one of you will now do your part in water conservation. Do your part. Be water smart. That's great, Sean. Can you just tell us real quick what's on your poster? Okay, so here, so get an Energy Star labeled washing machine. Only wash full loads. Install toilets instead of use less than 1.6 gallons per flush. Use a shutoff nozzle on your hose. Use a low, low shower head. Um, mulch around plants to hold water in the soil. Put water your yard and plants early or late in the day. It will reduce evaporation. Put faucet aerators on or sink faucets. Take short showers, five minutes or less is best. I only take two minute showers. I take two minutes if you want. Use plants that require less water. Turn yeah. off the water while brushing and washing dishes. Use, use brooms, not hoses, to clean driveways and walkways. Mm, that's a good Save one. it or do without it. Okay, did you think about some of those? Who? How many of you have seen your mom and dad hose off the driveway? We have, we've done it at my house. So maybe that's, instead of using water to do it, what did it suggest you use? Actually, I don't. What did it suggest? A broom, a broom. So lots of ideas there. Okay, do you wanna ask your questions, Isha? Do you have any questions? Tarun. Um, can you tell us the rest of the poster? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a cop. What's that a picture of? Yes, it was. So this is a picture of the water cycle. So first, water evaporates, then it condensates into clouds, and then 
it has precipitation or rain, and it can come in different forms like like rain, heal, hail, or sleet. And then it flows back into the water, and then the whole water cycle starts again. Okay. And then what's your um, what's your pebble go paper down there? What was that for? Well, my topic is water conservation. I wonder what percentage of the water on Earth is polluted. While reading, I learned Earth has a lot of water, but only is only a little is safe to use. You can save water in your house. So is that? I'm sorry. Is that your research notes? Is that what you oh, took yeah. notes on? Okay. Okay. Can they read that later and read your water conservation, your little booklet that you have stapled? Could they read that later too? Is that something? Okay, they could read that later. That'd be great. I think you have some more questions. What? I have one more question. Um, um, if the straws are tilted, then it will stay in there, but if it's like straight, then it can go out. Yeah, I had that problem when I was making it. I couldn't get it to stay like tilted downwards. I couldn't get it. Some, so way. sometimes inventions take a few tries yeah. to get it right. Yeah. Um, and that one is amazing. And this is just a small model. I can actually, if I make Prototype. this again sometime, I can fix that problem. I think that's a great idea. Uh, and make some real uh, <laughs> like huge one pipes. Did you make that thing? Like a wonder plan. Yeah. Did you make that thing? What? Did you make that during your circle? No, I made a, another model using cardboard, but then I realized that water will actually seep through cardboard, so I used, made this using plastic. Okay. Question. okay, one last question, I think, right here. Oh, so now I Show them how it would work if when it rains, what happens? So, rainwater goes in through here. You could demonstrate the water bottle. I don't have water. I have water in it. It's okay. We're going to just listen. Rainwater comes in through here and it goes into that little hole from that water bottle. And then it goes in through here. And when it's full, it'll flow out through these straws. And you can put it over plants and the water will go onto the plants. I think you should have a year. Nice to meet you.